the senior senator of New York wouldn't be eligible because he was just a Brooklyn congressman. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to go to Peter King, uh, your colleague in the Congress, who's also a Republican from out on Long Island. Uh, Congressman, you would actually like to run for this seat in 2010, and it made no secret about that. Uh, the fact that we're having this program this morning, the fact that she has stirred up so much comment, not, just not in New York, but across the nation, doesn't that suggest she probably would be the strongest, the toughest candidate for you to run against if you do, in fact, run? No, Bob, not at all, because uh, New York, as you know, is the number one uh, Islamic terrorist target in the world. Uh, we're going to face unprecedented uh, hardship because of the financial crisis affecting New York. And the last thing we need is a People magazine celebrity as our United States Senator, especially someone who has no experience, who, as far as I know, has never held a real job. And now we found out that she hasn't even voted half the time. She hasn't voted in any of the Democratic mayoral primaries. She didn't even uh, vote the last time that Pat Moynihan ran for the seat that she's looking for now, or Mario Cuomo is running the race of his life and lost. She wasn't there for that. And even, for instance, you, know, you have Joel Klein on. I think Joel Klein will be an outstanding candidate. Uh, uh, Sherry Ann Jackson, another educator, would be a great candidate. Gary Ackerman, Charlie Farrar, these people who have been through the mill who know what it's like, who have had real life experience. How can the average New Yorker identify with Caroline Kennedy when she spent her whole life, and again, uh, she comes from an outstanding family, I'm sure she's a wonderful parent, but she's never taken a uh, stand on any public issue. She's never been, uh, even held one news conference. She hasn't gone to one American Legion Hall, or Knights of Columbus Hall, or Masonic Temple, or one uh, uh, synagogue to answer questions. Uh, when she does go on her so-called listening tour upstate, she's like running from, the, you know, from City Hall into the car to avoid reporters. And we just can't afford that. We can't afford to have a senator uh, who is not prepared on day one. So you say, uh, uh, as far as being a tough candidate, uh, you know, I don't want to be hurting myself. And I, I would say any of the other Democratic candidates who are being named have far more credentials and are far more experienced than Caroline Kennedy. And the fact that this is on national television means that if she does get the appointment from Governor Patterson, that there's going to be a magnifying glass on her. There's going to be a spotlight on her. And people are going to see that she is not equipped for the job. And it's going to create national attention. And I think the Republican candidate in 2010 will have a much better opportunity against Caroline Kennedy than against the others, especially someone who could identify right. with middle-income, working-class families. All right. Well, uh, Joel Klein, if uh, Kerry Kennedy were here,